Hello, I'm John Wallace. And I'm Jane Quibi. We've all heard the advice, eat more fruits and vegetables. Billboards, buses, newspapers, and TV urge us to increase our consumption of fruits and vegetables to five servings per day. That's right. There are numerous scientific studies showing the benefits of increased consumption of fruits and vegetables. With our on-the-go lifestyle and a decrease in our time available for food preparation, fruit and vegetable juices can contribute to those important five daily servings. Year-round availability of a wide selection of juices and a consumer trend toward healthier beverages have led to an increase in the consumption of juice and juice drinks. The juice industry strives to provide a safe and wholesome product. However, constant attention is required to ensure the safety of juice products. Consider these recent estimates from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Each year, about 76 million foodborne illnesses occur in the United States, resulting in thousands of deaths. The economic burden from our missed work and productivity is estimated to be in the billions of dollars. Since 1974, there have been 12 documented outbreaks of illness associated with unpasteurized juice, nine with apple juice or cider, and three with orange juice. The organisms involved in these outbreaks include bacteria such as E. coli 015787 7 and salmonella, parasites such as cryptosporidium, and viruses such as norovirus. Salmonella and E. coli 015787 are particularly important causes of foodborne illnesses associated with juices. In addition to the usual gastrointestinal symptoms, salmonella infections can sometimes spread to the blood and may cause serious or even fatal illness, especially in small children, the elderly, or in persons who don't have normal immune systems. An E. coli 015787 infection may result in severe bloody diarrhea and in small children may contribute to kidney failure and other life-threatening outcomes. Investigation of the juice-associated outbreaks revealed several opportunities for prevention of contamination from the farm to the packing shed, to the transportation equipment, to the final point of service. Understanding the complexity of juice production allows us to identify the critical steps where the implementation of safety procedures can prevent a contaminated product. As a person involved in bringing this valuable food product from the farm to the table, you have an important responsibility to guarantee the safety of a juice product. One mistake can cause thousands of people to become sick. Ensuring the production of a safe product will lead to customer satisfaction and confidence in your product. This video is divided into six modules. These modules are designed to introduce you to the concepts needed to ensure the safety of juice from the raw product to the retail market. Module 2 discusses existing laws and regulations, legal requirements, and guidance. Module 3 covers employee health and hygiene. Module 4 reviews cleaning and sanitation concepts within the facility. Module 5 addresses field agricultural practices and the handling of raw materials. Module 6 makes recommendations on juice facility design, how products should move through the facility, and the packaging of juice products. Finally, Module 7 introduces methods for ensuring a safe, healthy product for your customers.